Today, I want to take a closer look at three companies that have taken quite a beating in the past few days with the overall market, but ones that can benefit from the AI server space. So I'm not going to hold you hostage. The three companies we're going to take a closer look at today is HPE, Supermicro, and Dell Technologies. All these three companies are ones that produce AI servers, a market that is expected to grow in dramatic levels. So now that you know the three companies, by the end of this episode, we're going to understand more about them, where they get their revenue, which company is making more from AI servers, stock price drops in the past few days, and also what are some of their growth potentials outside of the AI market. So let's take a closer look in today's episode. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video and check out fool.com slash Jose for the 10 best stocks to buy now. With that link, you get a promotional offer for the subscription service. Now, let's continue with today's episode. So like I mentioned, today was a pretty red day for the overall market where we have seen a lot of tech stocks go down. Down. We have also seen kind of this negative narrative towards the AI market, which has driven stock prices for companies like NVIDIA down in the past few months. I mean, from its year to date high, the stock is down roughly 25% for NVIDIA. And now if I pull out of these three companies that I'm going to look at, HPE is down roughly 20% from its uh, all-time highs. Supermicro is down roughly 48%. And Dell Technologies is down roughly 45%. Now, before we go any further in the episode, I do want to hear from you, the viewers, which one of these three companies would you purchase at these levels and why? At the end, I am going to share my overall thoughts. But first, let's try to understand which is making the most money and what's going on with the AI server. And actually, let's start with the latter right now. So in the past few weeks, we have seen big tech companies like Amazon, like Google and all these big cloud server providers determine and mention that their CapEx is going to increase or continue to be very high in AI servers. Now, all these cloud server providers, the big giants, they don't go they don't typically go with any of these players like Dell, like HPE or like um, Supermicro because these cloud server providers have a lot of money and they turn to kind of build a lot of their AI server solutions inside because it obviously helps with things like costs. But there are what we call kind of like tier two cloud server providers, the enterprise market, like individual businesses that are growing the AI. So right now, if we are getting kind of this narrative from the AI market, big players like these top cloud server providers that the AI market is growing at rapid levels, it is safe to assume that that is also trickling down to tier two cloud server providers, to enterprises and to other businesses out there. So again, while these are not their customers, their overall landscape and kind of their narrative of what's happening in the AI market can make investors understand that this has definitely a lot and a lot of potential right now. So the first one we're going to take a closer look at is Supermicro. And Supermicro is pretty interesting because they do report earnings tomorrow. The stock was down roughly 2%. But during this kind of crash today, the stock was below $500. I think it's insane how much the market has corrected. I mean, year to date, the stock is up over 113%. But we can see from its year to day high, the stock is down nearly 50%. So Supermicro is one that I personally did not like out of thousands. There's probably a lot of maybe even top YouTubers that started to really discuss Supermicro at these high levels. This is one that I personally believe was an overvalued beast because of the end of the day, all these are AI server companies, are hardware business, and we're going to see margins tend to be very low. Now, before when valuations were crazy, that might have been a reason to be away. But now things are looking a lot more interesting. So Supermicro, as we can see, they do provide various server solutions for the AI market. One thing that Supermicro has amongst the other is they actually have a few things. First, they do have a lot of facilities here in the United States, especially in the California area where a lot of their customers are. So they're able to have great relationship with their customer base. The second thing, and this is something that Supermicro is leading on, is liquid cooling. As AI chips become hotter and more power 
hungry, liquid cooling is becoming a more viable solution where historically it has been a very, very small market share and Supermicro is leading to become the leader in this space. Um, most of these and all of these that we're actually going to take a closer look at, the great thing is they create AI servers no matter for who. They create servers for AM, using AMD solutions, using Intel solution and using Nvidia solution. So no matter who wins in the AI chip race from nvidia from amd from intel we obviously know the winner already but who no matter who's gaming market share who's eating everybody's lunch super micro and all these other players can benefit and as we're going to see throughout the episode that each of this company continues to show this bullish trend that ai servers are going to continue to grow and again we've heard from multiple big cloud server providers that that is the case as ai is becoming a huge revolutionary technology so here we can kind of see some of the products that they hit and they're using amd's instinct nvidia's h1 hopper hopper series and even intel's gaudi solutions now for the most recent revenue of supermicro which was roughly three months ago remember they are reporting earnings tomorrow or today depending on when i'm dropping this uh, video but we can see quarter three revenue was roughly 3.85 billion dollars and that was up 200 percent year over year so we can definitely see how supermicro has definitely gotten that growth of the ai space now supermicro doesn't necessarily break down what their ai revenue is but if we have heard from various calls that it's over 50 percent of their market comes pretty much from ai solutions super micro is going to be one of the uh, the only one of the three where a majority of their business comes from the server side we can see in their most recent revenue and historically in the past few quarters the revenue mix is over 90 percent from server and storage system and at the end of the day ai servers is what's really gonna gonna grow the server market so it is safe to assume that every single quarter ai revenue for super micro is gonna get closer and closer to those higher values so right now super micro is probably Probably one of the most purest play if you're looking for AI servers. Now that can obviously be both a bullish and a bearish case. The bullish case is if this market is expected to grow at such dramatic levels, then this one's going to grow much faster than the rest in reports in regards to its own total revenue. The risk that comes here is obviously if AI server slows down, this is the only company that's going to probably take a bigger hit as those other players, HPE and Dell Technologies, do have other industries that can help support them during a wild downturn. So, I mean, it's one of those stocks that if you're betting bigger, you're most likely going to be rewarded better if things go right or the opposite direction. Now, Supermicro, one of the things that we're going to see is the only thing really limiting their, their revenue at the moment is their capacity of how much they can build and also supply constraint on GPUs because NVIDIA right now is obviously supply constraint on their products. Because NVIDIA has mentioned that, hey, look, their supplies are getting better, we can expect that in theory, Supermicro and all these other players should expect to be re growing revenue on a quarterly basis. But outside of that, Supermicro is also taking accounts and increasing its overall capacity. They're building more plants here in California. They're also expanding in Malaysia and other parts in, Europe, in Asia to help with their overall margins. Now, talking about margins, that is probably one of the big biggest red flags here for the space as i mentioned earlier most of these are hardware companies and they're fighting for market share and at the end of the day they're gonna end up fighting in pricing which makes this a very margin low margin business right um super micro has mentioned that they're looking for that 14 to 17 percent in margins and that's where they've been staying and they're working with great ways to kind of continue to be able to stay within that margins as moving some of their plans to asia and secondly because they believe that they have the best products and products that don't break down as easily it also helps out their margin capabilities now we can see revenue most recent quarter was 3.85 billion they are guiding for about 4.1 on the top end if I may be honest, I think during upcoming earnings, they're going to beat this number and be and be closer to that maybe 4.2, 4.3 billion dollars due to the overall capacity growth we are seeing from NVIDIA's AI chips.
Now let's take a closer look at Dell Technologies. The stock is down roughly 4% today. At one point, it dropped to the low 90s before kind of catching up to 98. Congratulations to anybody that purchased during those panic moments that we had to earlier this morning. From its 52-week high, we can see Dell Technologies is down over 45%. Now, before I go any further, I do want to say thank you guys for the support. If you haven't subscribed or give the video a thumbs up, I definitely would appreciate it. Secondly, I do have two eBooks that really kind of break down the semiconductor market. One is a handbook that is pretty much an encyclopedia of semiconductor companies that are public right now. The second is a semiconductor investing earning handbooks, which is covering multiple semiconductor companies and their earnings reporting this quarter. The great thing is both these books are living documents. So as I update them for this quarter or with new businesses. If you purchase now, you will get the updated version. If you also buy both books at the same time, you also get $20 off. And while Supermicro, Dell Technologies, and HPE are not semiconductor companies, I do believe that I will add them to the list of the ebook as they do provide a lot of great insight about the semiconductor space. So make sure to check that out at moresemiinvesting.com. Now back here to Dell Technology, we can see the stock year to date is up roughly 31%. So very similar to Supermicro, they provide AI server solutions. Now very similar, they also provide solutions using all AMD, Intel, or NVIDIA products. Now if we take a close look at Dell Technologies, their revenue most recent quarter was 22% up 6% year over year. So we can see Supermicro is growing at way faster levels than any of these. The main reason, like I mentioned previously, is all these companies have other industries as well. So out of the $22 billion, $9.2 billion came from their infrastructure group. Out of that $9.2 billion, roughly $2.6 came from server revenue. So we can see around 10% of AI server revenue is coming to Dell Technologies out of its total revenue. So even if AI server grows, it's not going to grow the overall revenue as quickly as for Supermicro when looking at percentage points. Traditionally, though, I do believe that an infrastructure solution group eventually is right now traditional servers will move into AI servers. So this is definitely one that has a lot of market shares. The other great things about Dell Technologies is it has its client server group, um, client solution group, and this is a lot of PCs, right? These are consumer products, business PCs, and right now we are seeing the growth in the PC market. So while it might not only grow from AI servers and might not just benefit from AI servers, right now we are seeing the AI PC market as well seeing a nice boost which can obviously help this company in the long term of things now dell technologies has shared a lot of information that if you are an ai server investor you would like to know right dell technologies believes that ai hardware and service represents a multi-billion business that is expected to grow at a 20 percent compounded annual growth rate within the next few years so obviously this bodes well really much for all companies now dell technologies has mentioned that hey look their ai server is 3.8 billion growing sequentially by approximately 900 million and they continue to optimize and expect multiple ai growth throughout the quarter so right now they mentioned we are in early adoptions of the ai space which again bodes well for these three giants all right so now the final company we're going to take a closer look at is hpe now hpe right now sitting at 17 dollars 35 year to date the stock is pretty much flat and from its year to date high the stock is down roughly 20 percent now hpe first i want to look at their revenue breakdown most of their revenue 7.2 billion in the most recent quarter 3.8 came from servers within that server business only about 0.9 billion came from ai server systems so they still are selling traditional servers and for those that are not familiar with traditional servers these are servers that just tend to have a cpu and not necessarily a form of ai accelerator like i mentioned with dell technologies i believe this eventually would just transfer to pretty much all ai servers when you buy a server you're going to end up buying a server that has some form of accelerated system so it is important that these do have a nice amount of market share and we can see for 
HPE, this was pretty much their only real growth market, up 18% year over year. Again, very similar. Supermicro is the only one growing at triple digits, while these are not. But again, because Supermicro is really focused purely on that AI space. Now, I want to say HPE does have a lot of strength behind it. First, a lot and a lot of their solutions, and here we can see their solutions, are being used by big players. For example, four of the top 10 fastest computer on the top 500 list are using HPE solutions. Seven of the 10 top of the top 10 green supercomputers on the top 500 list are using um, are using HPE solutions as well. And this is a company that expects to, that has nearly tripled the number of enterprises AI customers year over year. And the great thing is HPE not only has AI servers, but they also things like intelligent edge, like hybrid clouds, and they have some form of financial services. So again, very similar to the other player, uh, to Dell Technologies. While it is not solely dependent in one space, it has other opportunities to grow as well. Now, I want to take a closer look at valuation so out of the three the most expensive is dell mark or the most or the biggest company is dell technologies with the market cap of nearly 69 billion supermicro comes in at second with 35 billion and hpe comes in at third with 22 billion valuation now in forms of trailing 12 months revenue the highest is dell technologies again they have various industries at 90 billion so it is pretty impressive how they do have more revenue than market cap now if we take a closer look at hpe 28 billion in trailing 12 months oh again bigger than its overall micro cap the only one that doesn't have more market cap than its overall revenue is super micro super micro has roughly 12 billion dollars in trailing 12 months revenue with a market cap of roughly 35 billion again one of the main reasons is super micro is expected to grow into that valuation right super micro growth estimates for this current fiscal year is expected to be somewhere around a hundred over a hundred percent while for hpe and for dell technologies is expected to be in the single digits now supermicro also does have higher profit margins than these other players so that is one reason that even though its revenue is lower the valuation is much higher now if we take a closer look at pe ratios hpe is the cheapest at 12.6 dell technology second and 19 point at 19.8 and supermicro at 34.2 at 34.1 so supermicro is very expensive at current levels but now let's look forward one year which is not the end of this fiscal year it's the end of next fiscal year and remember each business has a different fiscal year for supermicro right now it's roughly two years from now for hpe and dell technologies is more they follow more the calendar year, so it's about a year and a half from now. But we can see the valuations are getting a lot cheaper for these three players and a lot closer. Supermicro is dropping down to roughly 15 at current levels. HPE is at around 8, and Dell Technologies is roughly around 10.49. So I do want to say all of these have various growth opportunities, and looking at these valuations is not that crazy to start looking at them. Supermicro is definitely then one if you do expect AI servers to continue to grow at such a rapid pace. At the same time, a lot of expectation is out there for Supermicro, but I think Supermicro is definitely looking at attractive levels below 700s. I mentioned that numerous times. HPE, the cheapest of the bunch, and I personally believe they can really grow their AI server very quickly. And in my opinion, it's one of my favorites right now out of these three. Um, Dell Technologies at 10.4, nothing too crazy. They can benefit from AI servers and they can also benefit from the PC market. One industry that I didn't talk about for HPE is HPE also has hybrid cloud. So hybrid cloud seems to be kind of like a tier two or maybe even tier, uh, a lower tier of clouding solutions where if a company needs more capacity like Microsoft or Google, they can come get some added capacity here from HPE. While that is down on a year over year basis, this has the opportunity to grow if it can be fueled by AI. So HPE definitely has some growth opportunities in my opinion, and it is cheap, but I think it might be my favorite out of the three if I'm looking for a nice mixture of revenue potentials. If I'm looking for purely AI demand, I think Supermicro can benefit. 
And while I do believe it can be earnings tomorrow, the real question is how will the stock act after earnings, right? Just because you beat earnings doesn't necessarily mean the stock is gonna go up. That's something to be expected. But after hours, after Palantir reported earnings, we can see some bullish sentiment right now. So take care, have a good day, and see you next time.